so we're opening the Tate Bake Shop cinnamon brown sugar cookies. This is what the cookie looks like. <laughs> How is it that Tate's never misses? In today's episode, the dogs are chilling. Wow, this looks so pretty. Okay, I put the flowers in and I forgot to put the, <laughs> the mixture. Let me do that now. Because I don't want to be anyone's wife. This is really for myself. Where are you going? Why are you picking a shower? I'm going to my eyes eating with you. We are making fried chicken. It's always making something. And the muck and cheese. Our resident home wife, a.k.a. Brianna May. Here's your domestic disposal. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's your favorite fucking dance. Paula, did you eat good? Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you, did you? So you're not happy with that? I am, but the chunks of cheese are chunks of your roster building. There's one rule. Treat them all like number fives. Oof. Disposable. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And if they don't believe that's the truth, remind them of it. Uh, what, how do you remind them? Business. No, no, hold on. Let's talk about how do you remind them? Six business. Break without the beard really isn't that attractive. Uh, when Drake started gaining weight and, and got fit and grew a beard, that's when he was like, whoa. Like, he like... He could have me anytime he wanted. He went from being a ugly duckling to a fucking swan. Yeah. He could have me anytime he wanted. A whole swan. I'd always pick up the phone for Drake. I don't care what was going on. I could be married. <laughs> My husband would have to understand. Have to. There's just certain people who gotta pass. Yeah. yeah. So I have this book that I purchased from um, Barnes and Nobles while I was in Florida, and it has a lot of prompts for the next 365 days. And I haven't written in it since I got it back in June. And so I figured since it's December 1st that I would um, fill it out. So let's answer this one. Think about the last time you felt anxious. What would have helped to calm you? Ooh, I'll be answering that right. Um, it is Friday night. One of my girlfriends got me this jam jar sweet Shiraz back for my birthday and I really, really, really enjoyed it. Follow um, sort of a practice in which each day represents something within astrology. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love astrology. I am a Virgo. Venus Day. <laughs> Today's Venus Day. So I think the thing that works best for me is to act the way a venus woman is which is like a taurus or a libra um it's either aesthetics or maybe it's just something pleasure principle sometimes it's with other people sometimes it's within yourself i had an extremely stressful week and i just was like very i didn't even realize it was friday that's how stressful it was and like wednesday and thursday end up becoming one whole shebang <laughs> and i just really need to do something nice for myself and so my mom um, uh, sent me a hundred dollars as soon as I clocked out. I took a fresh shower. I got dressed in the rain and got my nails done, even though you probably cannot even see it. Um, on cloud shine. I got them on my toes, but I fucked, <laughs> fucked them up. I don't know what happened there, but whatever. I'm just happy because I went to a new place and they put the little plastic in there and I really like that. I hate going to nail places that don't do that because it's really disgusting. And then this place had a barbicide um, like completion, which was nice and they were very thorough and clean. And um, I low-key really like when men do my nails because I feel like they don't want toes to look a certain way and they care about um, the beauty behind it. Uh, last thing I want to say is um, the job market is probably tiresome to other people and I am extremely blessed to have a roof over my head to be able to even buy Chinese food and have a job and have family and friends that care about me and and like my basic necessities are met um but where there's a challenge sometimes is recognized this week is I was telling my therapist that 
she was like giving me advice about something and I started crying and she was like what's coming up for you right now I was like it is extremely frustrating to always be resilient when do we have a moment to be like this fucking sucks and I don't think enough people are doing that because it is easier to come on social media and YouTube and be like everything's great and like find the silver lining and it's like I think there are a lot of people especially if you are resilient that do know that there's a silver lining in it right and i don't think enough people get the grace to actually complain and like just like let it out we are so trying to go on two spectrums which is like go from negative to positive and i hate fake positivity and i hate forced positivity and like i think there's not enough of an invitation to be like you know today was a really rough day I didn't think I was gonna make it and while I'm glad that I made it and I'm able to like treat myself to like the Lord's delight the light you know these gifts which is a great meal you know friends that do want to spend time with me and money in my pocket and a roof over my head um, we don't say that enough that there are bad days and I don't know who needs to hear this maybe I'm just saying it to myself that one day I look back on this video and be like yeah girl you made it <laughs> but it's okay if today kicked my ass and the earlier days this week it kicked my ass but today didn't because i had to tell myself that the only person you can fucking control sherry is you so i wrote this script in 2015. <laughs> wow, wow 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 your girl's a writer i think when i was working at this fucking psychiatric hospital i wrote that because it looks like burner paper but look at my supreme colgate cavity protection i'm never going to use that and that's going up somewhere on display in my next apartment i really had a collection of nail polishes and so i'm starting it now i of like the most excited for you but i wanted to show you guys um this you know my nail hardener um this is a nail strengthener i actually need to fall back from using it as much because i feel like overdoing it with the protein is a lot i get this on amazon i'll try to link it below this is a really shitty 99 cent one i like it for days where i'm just i want to paint my nails and just do a manicure by myself but i wouldn't take that to or maybe i should take this to the nail place i don't really love it i'm a sally hansen hoe like she makes the best nail um uh, nail polish like everything she makes is great so this is my little collection